Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. These are the immortal words from the Tao Te Ching, an ancient Chinese text credited to the sage Lao Tzu. This profound quote captures the essence of an ancient Eastern philosophy concept known as Wu Wei. At the heart of Taoism, Wu Wei, translating to non-doing or effortless action, is a principle guiding one to live in harmony with the flow of life, to move with the currents of the world instead of against them. Wu Wei does not imply inaction, but rather it encourages action that is spontaneous and effortless, arising from a deep connection with the natural world and our inherent nature. In our modern, fast-paced society, where we often find ourselves rushing and multitasking, the concept of Wu Wei seems both alien and alluring. It beckons us towards a slower, more mindful way of life, promising peace and fulfillment in return. It poses an enticing question. Can the practice of effortless action help us navigate the tumultuous seas of modern life with grace and serenity? In this journey today, we'll explore five key lessons from Wu Wei. Lessons that are not just relevant, but incredibly vital to our personal and professional lives in today's world. Lesson 1. Embrace the flow of life. A water drop on a leaf, a river cutting through a valley, the sun setting at dusk. Nature doesn't resist, it simply flows. This is the first lesson that Wu Wei teaches us to embrace the flow of life. Contrary to some interpretations, going with the flow isn't about passivity or indifference. Rather, it's about actively engaging with the world around us and within us recognizing and respecting the natural currents of life. It is about choosing the path of least resistance, not out of laziness or a desire to evade difficulty, but from a deep understanding of the inherent rhythms of nature and our own nature. Picture yourself canoeing in a stream. If you paddle against the current, you'll exert a lot of energy for little progress. But if you navigate with the current, you use its energy to guide you forward with ease and efficiency. This is Wu Wei in action. Now imagine you're navigating a project that's hitting roadblocks despite your best efforts. Wu Wei suggests stepping back to reassess and realign your approach, mirroring the way you'd navigate the stream. It could mean finding a different, more effective path, or acknowledging that patience is needed. Just like the stream, life has its own currents, and learning to flow with them turns obstacles into guiding forces. Translating this principle of Wu Wei into daily life can seem challenging at first, given our habitual behaviors and thought patterns. However, an insightful quote from the Tao Te Ching offers guidance. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. This suggests that we aren't bound by our past actions, behaviors, or identities, but can choose to evolve, adapt, and align with the natural flow of life at any moment. Remember, Wu Wei is about aligning our efforts with the natural course of things, allowing us to move forward with more grace, efficiency, and peace. Lesson 2. Release the need to control. The Tao Te Ching wisely advises, by letting it go, it all gets done. The world is won by those who let it go. It's a reminder of the constant tension we face, seeking control in an inherently unpredictable world. Wu Wei's second lesson is this. Release the need to control. It asks us not to relinquish action, but to let go of our rigid attachments and expectations. Like the weather, some things are beyond our control. Our power lies in our response. We can resist the rain or accept it, finding joy in its rhythm. Releasing control is challenging, especially when societal norms equate control with success. Yet, by practicing mindfulness, we can cultivate acceptance, we learn that our thoughts are often automatic responses, separate from our true selves. As we internalize this understanding, we can begin to find freedom from the need to control, fostering a sense of peace and acceptance that persists regardless of external circumstances. Through mindfulness exercises like meditation or a mindful walk, we observe these thoughts without judgment. With time, we learn not to resist or criticize them, but simply let them pass. In essence, Wu Wei imparts that real control is not about manipulating the world, but elegantly navigating its currents much like a willow tree, bending with the wind, resilient and adaptable, without breaking. 
Or imagine a dancer who, lost in the rhythm of music, flows from one movement to another effortlessly, embodying grace and ease. It's about releasing the need for dominance to discover a wellspring of inner peace and serenity. Lesson 3. Cultivate Mindful Non-Doing In the Tao Te Ching, we encounter the quote, In the pursuit of learning, every day something is added. In the practice of the Tao, every day something is dropped. This may seem paradoxical, especially in our modern world, where constant action and accumulation of knowledge or possessions is often prized. However, this brings us to our third lesson from Wu Wei. Cultivate mindful non-doing. Now, it's important to clarify what non-doing means in the context of Wu Wei. It's not about literal inaction or passivity. Instead, non-doing, or Wei Wu Wei, refers to action that does not involve struggle or excessive effort. It's about finding the balance where our actions are not forced, but arise naturally, carried out with ease and grace. Lao Tzu offers a profound piece of wisdom to guide this practice. A good traveler has no fixed plans and is not intent upon arriving. This isn't just about traveling in the physical sense, but a metaphor for our journey through life. You can cultivate this practice by embracing uncertainty, venturing beyond the horizon of the known. This invites new, unexpected experiences and fosters an adaptive, open-minded outlook. Begin to cultivate mindful non-doing by designating a daily period for this practice, which could be a formal meditation or simply a moment of quiet reflection. Alternatively, for a more dynamic approach, you could explore a new part of your town or engage in a novel experience. This exposure to unfamiliar stimulus naturally lends itself to being in the present moment, fostering a more spontaneous outlook. During these times, remain an observer of your thoughts feelings and sensations without passing judgment or moving to problem-solving mode. This pause from our habitual doing allows our mind to rest and refresh. As you embrace this practice of mindful non-doing, you'll notice your day-to-day -day actions becoming more effortless and fluid. You begin to dance with life, a spontaneous waltz that embodies the peaceful flow of Wu Wei. Lesson 4. Trust your intuition. Because he believes in himself, he doesn't try to convince others. Because he is content with himself, he doesn't need others' approval. Because he accepts himself, the whole world accepts him, echoes the wisdom of Lao Tzu in the Tao Te Ching. Our fourth insight from the ethos of Wu Wei steers us towards an often overlooked compass in our decision-making toolkit, trusting our intuition. The world around us loves to glorify analysis and methodical thinking, however, the philosophy of Wu Wei and the heart of Taoism place an undeniable value on our innate intuition. Imagine standing at a fork in your life's journey. It could be a significant career decision, a crossroad in your personal relationships, or even the seemingly small choice of picking your meal from a menu. Rather than subjecting each choice to an exhaustive analytical weighing, what if you just allowed yourself to be in the moment, take a deep breath, and let your intuition guide you? It's this inner wisdom, this spontaneous instinctive action, which resonates with the concept of Wu Wei. Inviting intuition into our lives requires patience and tranquility, and we can nurture this through activities like journaling and silent reflection. Creative endeavors, free from judgment and expectation, serve as fertile ground for the growth of intuitive trust. In our modern world, harmonizing intuition and reason seems challenging, yet essential. By acknowledging the interconnectivity of all things, we move beyond the dual nature of the mind, paving the way for intuition and realigning ourselves with the Tao. This approach enables us to navigate life's journey with greater ease and harmony. Lesson 5. Find joy in the ordinary. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep to the simple. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. With these words, Lao Tzu illuminates the power of the ordinary in the Tao Te Ching. The fifth and final lesson from Wu Wei invites us to appreciate the joy in the ordinary, to relish the mundane. The societal fabric we're part of often conditions us to seek grandeur, 
to chase after extraordinary experiences. But the philosophy of Wu Wei nudges us to find contentment in the everyday, in the seemingly insignificant. And in this cultivation of contentment, we also nurture humility. In recognizing the profoundness within the ordinary, we align ourselves fully with the present moment. Our ego, with its incessant need to label, judge and pursue what it deems worthy, often leads us astray from the awe-inspiring beauty of simply being. To truly see and connect with the world around us without the ego's interference is one of the deepest and most profound experiences one can have. Acceptance becomes our conduit to this wisdom. Grasping the impermanence inherent in all things allows us to find appreciation in even the most seemingly mundane facets of life. The wisdom of Wu Wei is like a gentle river current guiding us away from struggle and strife towards harmony and contentment. It reminds us to align with the natural flow of life, to trust our intuition, to cultivate purposeful inaction and to release the need to control. It is a philosophy not of doing, but of being, not of striving, but of flowing. This, at its essence, is the profound beauty and simplicity of living in Wu Wei. Reflecting on our journey through the wisdom of Wu Wei, we find tranquility and harmony blossoming within us, aligning us with nature's rhythm and our true selves. This ancient wisdom, encapsulated in the Tao Te Ching, encourages us to release our tight grip on life, to let go of our need to control and orchestrate every outcome, and instead, to flow gently with life's currents. Practicing Wu Wei does not mean we cease to act or strive for our goals, Rather, it suggests that we become more mindful of our actions and the intentions that drive them. It asks us to act not out of compulsion or fear, but from a place of alignment with our true nature and the nature of the world around us. A compelling illustration of this comes from the Taoist sage, Chuang Tzu. After his wife's death, instead of mourning, he celebrated, signifying his acceptance of life's cyclical nature and his commitment to flow with it, rather than resist. Now we invite you to carry the lessons of Wu Wei into your everyday life. Observe, experiment, and witness how embracing these principles can profoundly affect your sense of peace and fulfillment. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, start small, be patient, and allow the process to unfold naturally. In the words of Lao Tzu, the Tao does nothing yet leaves nothing undone. May this wisdom guide you in your journey, reminding you that when you act in accordance with the natural flow, everything you need will come to you in the right time and place.